Good one, Dad. Okay, kids, prepare to be dazzled. Marge, turn on the juice. What do you think, kids? Nice try, Dad. Ugh. Just hold your horses, son. Hey, hey, Simpson! What is it, Flanders? Oh, uh, do you think this looks okay? Oh, you need them. It's too bright. Uh, you are Flanders. What a big show off. Everybody, happy Monday! Welcome back to <laughs> the morning routine. Hope everyone had a good weekend. And we are now officially in December. We were officially in December on Friday and all weekend, but now it's a full week of December. Here we go with some headlines. We got our official decorations up. The tree's a little sparse, but I got a plan for that. I'm not sure what it is yet, but we'll find out. All right, headlines. Uh, first off, we've got. Um, uh, after 50 years, the U.S. to return to the moon on January 25th. Yay! What are we going to do on the moon? I don't know. It's the moon. We've been there. It's dusty. It's sandy. It's the moon. Yay! All right. Uh, Beetlejuice 2. William Defoe spills his comedic role in the upcoming sequel to Tim Burton's classic, this is pretty cool. I, one, I'm excited about the new Beetlejuice movie, but two, William Dafoe is great. He's a great, uh, very disciplined, dramatic actor, but then he really can bring it on when it comes to the comedy and different things like that. In Spider-Man, he was the Green Goblin. Really, really good in that. That was cool. So that should be interesting to see him in uh, Beetlejuice Dose. All right, lastly for today, for our headlines, a Harvard professor prepares to teach a new subject, Taylor Swift. Boy, when you're going to Harvard and you're paying the amazing, crazy bill of going to Harvard, you feel like you'd want their curriculum to be a little bit more than Taylor Swift. Moving on. All right, guys, it's Monday. What are we doing on Monday? We're getting ready for this cool month we got going. We got cool stuff. We got to get pumped up for the week. So we got, um, uh, you know, it's the holiday season. So sometimes that comes with like stress and anxiety and busyness and craziness and family events and different things. And it can be a little overwhelming at times to say the least, but it's very important to just slow down sometimes this time of year and just take in the beauty of the season. It really is quite amazing that around the world, people accept the holiday and participate in the holiday a lot for the joy of it. Maybe not the actual religious aspect or anything like that, but really the joy of this time of year brings. People get very festive. We decorate, we put pretty lights up, we make our streets beautiful to look at, our stores incredibly decorated. That makes it fun and interesting. And you know, throughout the year, it's really not that exciting. But then this month, we go nuts around the world with the decorations and it really does transform our entire world our homes get turned inside out our houses get turned lit up with all these pretty lights and stuff so it's really important that in spite of all the other stuff that goes on along it's just to sit back and enjoy the beauty that comes with the holiday season all right so take some time breathe a little bit and you know what the other thing that brings out this that comes out this time of year is friends, family that we haven't seen in a long time or talked to in a long time. This is that time of year that we do that. And sometimes we connect with old friends and, and maybe it's just the holiday, Christmas time is just that one time of year that we connect with these certain individuals. And, and that makes it great in and of itself. So that's pretty cool. And for us here at the morning routine as well, and you know, VCI and TCDI, we get reconnected and acquainted with some some folks that only stop by during this time of year. So here's one of them right here. Let's making his uh, entrance as only he can. Sparkles. <laughs> oh boy. 
Good to have that guy back. Not sure what to expect with him. And what about that Clyde Bigsby guy? Is he traveling? Is he doing something? He's usually sending us postcards from the North Pole. We'll see what happens with him. But it is Monday and I just dropped my card. What do we got to do next? We got to get positive for this week. Get a positive for the holiday season. So here's Josh with a positive quote. Hello everyone, Josh Asbill with a positive quote. Today's positive quote, to those I may have wronged, I ask forgiveness. To those I may have helped, I wish I did more. To those I neglected to help, I ask for understanding. To those who helped me, I sincerely thank you so much. Very good, feeling it, feeling good. Got the lights, got our Christmas stuff. Here we go with a national day. Morning, everybody. Here we are on a Monday after the first weekend of the. Oh, oh I know. I don't know what it is with my voice. I, guess I talk too much, and it's going all cockadoodle on me. But anyway, it's Monday, and the national day is National Santa's List. Now, this is when Santa starts to compile his, you know what, list, right? The naughty or the nice. I hope you all are out there on the nice. I know, I know, there are a couple of you out there on the naughty list. But I imagine there's a couple of you that are happy about being on the naughty list. No, never. I want to be on the good list. But this is when he starts compiling and he knows, so, you know, you better talk nice to people. You better do something nice, otherwise you're going to be on the naughty list and you get nothing. Well, you don't get anything good. But anyway. When you do make a list, you might not necessarily write it. <coughs> Excuse me. You might think it aloud. You might throw it out to the universe. Then I'd watch what I throw out there. Could be bad, could be good. But I would hope that um, it's all good. So think about everything you've done this year. What list are you going to fall on? The nice or the naughty. Hmm, think about it. Everybody have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Tuesday. <coughs> I yelled too much out the bell ringing. Oh we got <laughs> All right, absolutely cool national days as always, but we got to go back into the bearded past with Zach for December 4th. Hey everybody, how you doing? Hope you all coming off a wonderful weekend. Um, it is Monday, December 4th, and we're going to go ahead and go back to the bearded past with Zach. And today I'm going to talk about Riverbank. Um, we're going to do our little Stanislaus County history. And today I'm going to, Riverbank's going to be what I'm going to talk about. So Riverbank, in the year 1914, on 5th in Santa Fe, you can still go to 5th and Santa Fe streets. It was known, uh, they built uh, their elementary school there in 1914. Um, at the time, it was actually known as an open air school, a building ahead of its time. Um, the school was an open air school because of its extremely large windows, which provided needed ventilation, especially on the warm days. Architecturally more interesting than many other school buildings, this building was certainly ahead of its time. This photograph, uh, it was not taken too long after the school was built, so this photograph that I'm going to show you is taken fairly soon after the school was built. Uh, 
to, and if you look at the uh, the children in this picture, they're wearing basically your standard clothing that kids for this time would have worn in school. Um, you're going to see some of the kids that worked in the farm, so you're going to see some hats and some knickerbockers, the pants, and uh, but you're also going to see some farm boys with the overalls and things because of the farming community out there. Um, so. There's still a few old timers in Riverbank who can remember attending this unique school. In 1922, another schoolhouse was built in a V shape with the open air school behind it, which continued to be used for sewing and manual arts classes for several decades afterwards. That building was not removed until 1950, so anybody in that area up until 1950 when they saw this building, this was the uh, first school built in uh, Riverbank. Here it is. It is quite impressive. When you think of the architecture and you think of, you know, what was being built um, in the area. So, you guys, there you are. 1914, Riverbank's first school. All right, guys, take care. Enjoy your Monday. Have a great, great day, guys. Bye now. All right, guys, that is it. We are off and running into December. We got a uh, usual schedule, YouTube Live, 1 o'clock. We'll see you there for some positive, cool talk of some kind or another. And we're into the week, so we'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday. Hold on a second. Wait a minute, this is a pretty nice card that I've got the show scripted on. Um, well, I don't want to just toss this thing. I know what to do. Here's what you can do. You can go get yourself a smaller Christmas tree. And when you get those Christmas cards throughout the year, great way to decorate your tree is just put those Christmas cards right on your tree just like that. So I think that's what we're going to do with the cards this year. Decorate our tree and the Christmas cards for each and every episode and so on and so forth. So have a great day, everybody. We'll see you at 1 o'clock YouTube Live. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday. Take care.